Hi everyone and welcome. I'm really sorry for being away for so long. I've been busy working on an epic course that will be released on the free CodeCamp YouTube channel fairly soon. I'll let you know when it's available. So why would someone who spends a great deal of time teaching people how to code say, don't learn to code? Have you gone completely mad, Gavin? No, well, not completely. I'm still teaching people how to code, of course. That's what I mean. Isn't that kind of crazy now that AI is so advanced? No, coding is still very relevant. And learning to code without the help of AI is foundational if you want to get into the tech industry and build software. But yes, we are experiencing a seismic shift in terms of how software is created. And frankly, this is just the beginning. I'm not discouraging anyone from becoming a software developer. In fact, I very much encourage anyone to learn to code and create software. We just need to stay aware of how the changes will affect how software will be developed moving forward. The tech industry, as always, is going to need problem solvers and creative people. What I'm trying to say is don't focus just on coding. Coding is just part of being a software developer and yes, an important part. You could say then, but the job has always changed and evolved over time. Gavin. But the job has always changed and evolved exactly. over time. Thank you. Yes, but I suspect it's going to drastically change over the coming years. I'm not saying that it is a bad thing. It's only a bad thing if you bury your head in the sands of the old pre-AI world and are not aware of the changes and how software will be created in the future. Delphi? Huh? 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 Of course, you'll need to know coding syntax and how to code, but you also need to know how to leverage AI. Please share what you think about the AI revolution and in what ways do you think it will change programming? All comments are of course welcome. I love reading your insights. Oh, and please like, subscribe and share this video and please also ring the bell. So what hasn't changed is that we as developers have always needed to be adaptable. Technology is forever evolving. So in that sense, nothing has changed. However, the degree to which programming will be affected is going to be much more significant than the changes affected by the typical advancements we have experienced over the past few decades, pre-AI revolution. I can think of many significant changes that have drastically affected the way I create software over the past decades since I have been a software developer. But these changes were not anywhere near the paradigm shift driven by the AI revolution that we are currently experiencing. An example would be the upgrade from VB6 to VB.net. This was a massive change in the early 2000s. In the early 2000s, if you were stuck for years as a developer maintaining old apps written in VB6, you were on the fast track to your skills being in very scarce demand. And that is a dangerous place to be for a developer. .NET brought with it a completely different paradigm when compared to VB6. You could, for example, create applications effectively using VB6 without an in-depth knowledge of OOP, object-oriented programming. However, to code effectively in .NET, you certainly need to understand OOP because, for example, the type system in .NET is based on OOP. All types in .NET are objects and are all part of a hierarchical structure where at the top of the hierarchy is the system.object type and all other types inherit directly or indirectly from the system.object type. However, a huge difference between VB.NET and VB6 is VB6 did not have a software substrate like .NET. .NET is more akin to Java in that the code runs on a virtual machine. Another change that came soon after the release of .NET was that C Sharp, the new kid on the block, at the time became far more in demand than VB.NET. So once again, if you were stuck for years programming in VB.NET and were not transitioning to C Sharp, you were also risking becoming a dinosaur. And we all know what happened to those chaps. So those are just some examples taken from my own experience where keeping up with trends and paradigm shifts in programming has changed the landscape. Those that adapt to the changing landscape sustained their careers and thrived. Those that got stuck in their ways were at high risk of being adversely affected by these changes and potentially becoming extinct like the dinosaurs. Okay, maybe not that dramatic, but... The point is, we as developers have always needed to keep up 
with the changes that have emerged over the years. So that our skills remain marketable. If we look at the JavaScript space, as a JavaScript developer, these days you must know at least one JavaScript framework, like for example, React, Next.js, Angular, Vue, Node.js for the server side. In fact, I would say it's now advisable to know at least one front-end framework really well, like Angular or React, as well as know how to code using back-end technologies like, for example, Node.js. Of course, you can write full-stack applications using just the Next.js framework, which is another great framework to learn if you are a JavaScript-based developer. In today's competitive environment, my advice would be to become a full-stack developer rather than just a front-end or back-end specialist. The more you know, and the more you can prove to potential employers your capabilities, the more in demand you will be as a developer. But now, AI has emerged as the greatest cause of change to the way software is developed and delivered. And as I said earlier, we are just at the beginning in terms of feeling the effects of the changes caused by the AI revolution. So as developers, how can we still stay relevant and in high demand in this rapidly changing environment dominated by AI? My answer in short is don't just learn to code. Don't focus on one specific language. So what should you learn then? Learn the fundamental principles of problem solving. Improve your soft skills like effective ways to communicate with other human beings that you work with. And now a very important skill to master is to effectively communicate with AI. We need to be able to effectively prompt LLMs, large language models, to keep up with the high productivity speeds that our competitors are gaining through the effective use of AI. We are entering the age of super productivity. Remember, competition drives human evolution. I remember in the 90s, one of our lecturers told us how easy life was going to become in the 2000s and beyond due to the advancements in technology. Have we seen life become easier? In some respects, yes. But in terms of earning a living, I would say in many respects, no. Life has generally not become easier. In some respects, it has become much harder. With the technological advancements, life just speeds up. It doesn't slow down and become easier. Fundamentally, this is because of competition and ambition, which drives human evolution. So in some respects, life improves dramatically, for example, in medical advancements, communication, shopping and services, transportation, education and learning, work and productivity, information access, industry and infrastructure. But now there is much more to learn in order for your skills to stay relevant. The elite, if you like, for example, tech billionaires are not slowing down. They are inventing, innovating, and progressing at a faster rate than ever. So this perceived utopia where the world slows down and everyone can relax due to, for example, robots and AI doing everything, and humans can just sit back and enjoy, is a myth. All of the benefits that come out of, for example, AI and robotics will all come at a cost. Knowing how to leverage AI is going to speed up the coding process and the software delivery process in general. As a developer, it is dangerous not to at least be aware of the new coding paradigms that are evolving out of the AI revolution. AI is not going to make developers irrelevant, but it is going to change how software is created and delivered. And if you want to have a sustained career as a developer and thrive, you must learn to effectively harness the power of AI to achieve optimal efficiency in the creation and delivery of software so that your skills remain relevant and competitive. So it is just the same as before in the sense that being in tech and being a programmer means you are forever learning and keeping your skills relevant in a forever changing marketplace. That has always been the case. I've seen this a lot in my career and have almost fallen victim to it myself where you become complacent, perhaps maintaining old applications created using legacy technologies. Head buried in the sands of the old world while the real world is rapidly changing and evolving. You might be earning a good salary working with these old technologies, but you always need to ensure that your future is secured. So developers always need to remain aware of those changes that are occurring in the world that will eventually affect the way software is created and delivered. This is why I say don't just learn to code. The fundamental principles of how software is built is what is important. Programming languages and programming techniques are forever changing and evolving. The fundamentals don't change. Higher and higher layers of abstraction are built on existing technologies. 
that were built up from first principles. If you really want to become a technologist, learn fundamentals and first principles. Build your skills up from there. Of course, learn the syntax of programming languages and how to use them. The languages we have around today like Python, JavaScript, Go, Rust, C Sharp, Java, C++, just to name a few, are amazing technologies to learn. Learn about these technologies, learn the underlying foundational concepts behind each language and why they were created. What problems were they created to solve? And of course, learn how to code using these languages, but don't just learn to code. Syntax and languages are forever changing. Learn about the fundamentals of creating software. Learn the first principles. Be creative and nurture within yourself that problem-solving mindset. Also, if your perception of these coming changes are making you feel cynical about the future, you can simply change your mindset. These changes are going to bring a huge amount of new jobs. Exponentially increase your capabilities and in general, exponentially increase what is possible. Evolution is natural and we need to keep educating ourselves in order to keep up. Stay motivated. The future is exciting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please demolish that like button. If you didn't like this video, please demolish that like button. And please ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. Your support is greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please share what you think about the AI revolution and in what ways do you think it will change programming. All comments are of course welcome. I love reading your insights. If you'd like to follow me on X, my username is at Gavin Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.